Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and Those Dynamics Guys. Today I'm I oh, not don't want to do this. Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and Those Dynamics Guys. In today's Tuesday tutorials, I'm going to talk to you about a good few things here actually. Um, we're going to look at count, ri count rows, timer, duration and on time run, which we did kind of cover in the last session. Now, that the basic premise of this is that what we are looking to do is to have uh, an image that changes over a period of time. It's kind of it is simple in essence, but in order to to do that, I'm going to need to use these functions. Now, I did actually cover it very briefly in the last session, so I'm going to kind of remove the work that I've done. Um, so that's fine, but I'm going to remove this um, timer that I've got there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make this a bit smaller so that we can see what's actually going on. So that's the image. So I'm going to make the image a bit smaller. Um, so we can see uh, a bit more visually um, what's happening. Yeah, that's better. So we can see. Um, so those are all of the images that we've got in the uh, in our collection. Um, so if we can kind of go down to the bottom, you can see that is literally it. So this is a collection, um, and it points itself off to um, to this list here, where we've got five items. So I am going to jump back onto Power Apps. Now the purpose of what we're doing here is the theory goes is that we've got this song say, and what we're looking to do is um, periodically we want the first image to change. Now we know we can get the first image to change if we click on this um, because that's what it does. It removes the first item. I'm going to shuffle and collect. It, um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to put on the timer um, that that is what we want it to do. So insert uh, controls um, timer uh, and we're going to rename it to TMR remove item that'll do okay so the duration is 60,000 which is uh, 60,000 seconds um, and I'm just going to push it down to 3,000 uh, and I'm going to put it 2,000 uh, 1,500 um, okay good uh, 1.5 seconds and then I'm going to say on timer end oh, on timer end I'm going to do se select um, BTN uh, remove item there and what happens there is that it will remove from the collection shuffled image the first of the shuffled images that we have got um, now that is fine the problem with it is that it that's all it's gonna do it doesn't really you know if we've got a song of a different length then it's still just going to do it every 1.5 seconds which may not be appropriate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly bring in uh, I'm going to bring in some audio so bring in some media uh, audio go to browse hopefully it'll find something for me it clearly hasn't um, and let me just see uh, type um, I'm looking for an mp3 good Goodness knows what half of these things are. No, they're just mad. They are. Um, they won't help me. Um, I think it's under downloads. Apologies. And just give it a pause. Okay, back on. Um, so basically, I've got some music here. I know that this one here is "We Will Rock You." Actually, you can see it is "We Will Rock You." There, cool. Uh, and I am gonna <coughs> excuse me. Open that. And what we will see eventually is we'll see the length of it, which is which is where um, which is where what we're going to do is we're going to take the length of the song in seconds and divide it up correctly. Now, <laughs> the only way to actually find out the length of the song is to go and try and bring in the song. So go to media uh, audio and then you go on to here and then you do music uh, two, and then we will see. It's quite a short song actually and um, it is two minutes and two seconds and so the theory would go is that we do um, uh, what we're going to do is we on this shuffle thing here is at the end of that is we're going to do set um, GV oops G 
the um, this is global variable um, uh, image count to be count rows rows um, of um, call shuffled images and that's basically going to hard code the number uh, the number of rows that we've got so I'm just going to press go on that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to press the go button here and when I click that again that will push it into the variable and what we'll do is I will put in a label just so that we can see what's in that variable oops um, and we're going to call it GV uh, image count so we can see it's counting to five at the moment okay so um, then what we would do is in order to make it all kind of nice and neat um, we would divide that five into um, into the length of the song and so what we would do is the duration it's a bit naff to be honest but um, the duration on this needs to be um, 120 so uh, 120,000 120, 4,000 because it's the um, two minutes and two seconds so it'd be one two four one two three ah divided by GV uh, GV image count yeah that should give us the duration there now the theory goes well my maths isn't good enough for that I'm afraid so I'm just do uh, I'm just going to insert another label label um, and I should be able to find out the duration by um, looking at the TMR remove item dot duration and yeah so basically what we can see there is that we can see that it will remove an item every 24.8 seconds which is a little bit on the long side if I'm perfectly honest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoik a load of images into the collection so that it will do it a little bit more frequently than that so here we go here we go we go um, I am gonna go on to here onto this thing here gonna jump up here I'm just gonna basically grab a load of images um, no matter how kind of you know wild and wacky they are they're gonna be really kind of a bit on the mm, silly side um, but I guess that if I'm sort of thinking that really you know two minutes you kind of want to change in every two seconds um which would mean uh okay well let's just let's just uh, go with it in fact i've just messed up because i've just del doubled all those images yay um okay <clears throat> never mind so the plan is that i kind of pull up my images here and grab them here and i will drag them across here and we should see a whole load of them uploading four good you upload away yeah that's at 25 oh that's good that's perfect in fact it's rather a lot um 52 of them let's hope the internet is uh, going at a good rate uh, probably not so what i'm going to do is this thing is these things are flying in it's only 18 meg anyway um so they're flying their way in and i've obviously somehow managed to get something i don't need in there which is fine and um when it's done uh, so i'm just going to a quick pause and when it's done i will come back actually hasn't quite finished but I think this is quite interesting anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto this app now here and I am just going to do this shuffle and collect thing because what we should find here is we obviously get more images okay that didn't work um, oh I think sometimes with power apps you will find that if you're adding items in it's not kind of clever enough to work out that you've added them some things in so you cannot sometimes you can get away with just hitting the refresh on this doesn't always work but what definitely works is just closing out and going back in again so we'll see what happens go on to here shuffle and collect yeah 56 images that means um, that every 2.214 seconds this um, this duration thing will fire so that means that in theory we can have our uh, video thing going on so I'm just going to expand this expand you down expand you down and um, just gonna check if it's all done it's it's oh is it still doing it 
yeah it's done it all so it's done all of the things it needed to do um i still th oh that's just about perfect so uh yeah we can we can we can prove this is gonna work now because what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto there i'm gonna go shuffle and collect it's going to do a completely new collection, all in a different order. Let's hope there's nothing incriminating here, which it doesn't look like there is. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our music going, which we could do in all sorts of different ways. And so I'm going to do uh, <laughs> this is the bit where I put the We Were Rocky music on. And what you'll see is the image changing over and over again, which is the premise um, here. So hopefully you've actually learned something on the way. And this is the sort of demo. Um, Good. Good start. Here we go. I'm going to press the button here now. Oh, yay. Oh, do you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Because I re recently introduced this, what I didn't do was I didn't put the repeat bit on. So this, the repeat means that once you've finished doing the timer, do it again. Um, and so that means that when I press the go button, it'll just continually delete, 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 delete. Um, and so I'll just press, there we are. Gonna you got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. Well. I hope you thought that was fun. I think that's quite funny. Um, so that is the premise. I think this is a really, really neat solution. I would absolutely love it if people created their own little montages. There is nothing complicated about what I've done in the uh, in the last four sessions. Obviously, there's no polish to what I've done. Uh, my version of it is more polished. Um, but you know you could take it as far as you wanted to to go so uh, you can put in backgrounds all sorts of things so I, I really hope you've um, lasted out to the 12 minutes please like you know I do this um, because I benefited so much from um, other great people putting videos on and I just want everybody else to you know um, share in this fantastic tool um, so until next time, and I really don't know what the next video is going to be about. So um, keep well and see you again soon.